Hey guys, I just started a new channel um, to take care of my other hobby, which is boats and not cabins. So um, check out this boat I just bought for my father-in-law. Um, it's, it's not a turnkey boat, but I got a great deal on it, so I want to show you what's wrong and what's right. So it is a 1983 StarCraft Mariner, 18 feet, and it's aluminum. Uh, you can see it's riveted. It's in really good shape for being 83. I mean, there's a couple scratches on these graphics, but not much for the age. Came with the Honda 7.5 horsepower, four stroke kicker, um, 70 horsepower Johnson, which I'll get to later. Props kind of dinged up, but it's from uh, originally from Chehalis, which is Fresh water instead of salt water. Most of the boats around here are salt water boats. Uh, so this guy fished in the Columbia River. Um, looks like it's got the original upholstery. Got the uh, leaning, leaning post style chair there so you can fish off the back. Just flip that. Uh, center console, you can see the vinyl's kind of sun checked on the dash and the wiring. <laughs> The wiring's terrible. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. Looks like owners just rats nested it. Rats nest the rats nest, you know, instead of cleaning up the wiring. Because there really isn't that much electronics. I see a fuel gauge, an hour meter, and a fish finder, and then the motor controls. I mean, no three switches. There's no need to have that many wires. And back here is just another mess. So I'm going to remove all the extra wires. Um, brings me to today's project. It had one soft spot in the floor. And the great thing about these aluminum boats, you know, the deck screwed down. So I peeled back this vinyl. It stayed intact, which is amazing. And, you know, the, the structure under there is good because it's aluminum. So I'm going to slide in a piece of uh, pressure treated I couldn't find marine grade plywood and I don't know if I really need to mess with that. I can always redo it if I had to, but you can see he, the former owner had a custom fuel tank made. I think it's 25 gallons. And it's got a little fishing chair up there. There's a live well under here. Pops open. I don't know if it works. I, I heard one of the pumps turn on. There's a bilge. That's the fuel tank vent, I guess. That was added afterwards. Because I imagine this, this boat had portable tanks. I mean, there is no dents in this thing. I can't... For being how old it is, it's in great shape. It's... Don't do this to your boats, guys. Using wire nuts and just kind of homemade half-assed wiring, you know? That'll get you on the water quicker for the weekend, but... You know, you're probably not going to get back around to fixing this. And then by the time you do, you've already forgotten what wires what. So that's the mess I'm dealing with now. I'm going to have to disassemble each circuit one by one or maybe just rip it all out and rewire it because there's really not a whole lot I need on this boat as far as electronics. Let's look at rat's nest number two. Oh, goody. That looks like a lot of fun to play with. I mean, I don't know what, why there's so many wires on this boat. I know there's two pumps. One's a bilge. You can see it under the peaking out there. There's uh, one for the live well. So I believe if I turn this to all, I believe I can get power. Love these motor switches. Oh yeah, so power trim works. If that doesn't work, that could be an expensive fix. That's good. Okay, let's see what else works. Fish box pump. No. Bilge pump. No. Navigation. Oh, navigation turns on the pump. You hear it buzzing. Not sure which pump, so 
That's a great wiring. And I, did, I did figure out this, this secret switch here turns on the gauge light for the fuel tank. So that gauge actually works. It's, it's always hot though, when, even when the key's out, so I'll have to fix that. This thing powers on. That's about it, so it's probably garbage. You know, sun, the sun checked seats, you know, not great, but this is just a, a fishing boat. Oh no, it didn't come with the tools. Um, this is the live well, it's a aluminum box. It's kind of interesting, there's no liner, but there's the, I don't know, is that the drain or the water comes in? I don't know anything about live wells, never had one, this is my first one. Out of like eight boats in this. I don't know what that is either. Oh, it looks like it's got slits in it, so it must like spray the water. Looks like a little homemade jobber, but this might become a cooler. I don't know. For the it sounds cold enough to be cold. I don't know. But uh, came with a little battery tinder for a trolling battery. Um, big wires there for our trolling motor. And again, it's in pretty good shape. Just, I mean, look at it. It's not even clean, but... So this motor runs, it'll start on the hose, but I guess it, the guy never really had it going because when you give it gas, it would just die. And so I got this boat for two grand, you know, with everything and taking a chance on the motor. I saw it run, but thinking I might get a full rebuild on it because it... I'm getting this for my father-in-law and I don't want him to have any problems and yell at me. So we'll see. I checked the compression. It was 110, 100, 110, which is just on the cusp of okay. So we'll see. It's Those compression readings, they don't always tell you the whole story. I had a Yamaha blow up with great compression. Uh, still has the VRO system. So we're looking at here. I know half the people I talk to say take this out and the other half say don't take it out so we'll see I don't know much about these OMC motors all right guys so back to the floor you see this shiny line this is the edge of the plywood that was here and so I made a template a cardboard it just fits in there because um, I've cut my my treated, uh, treated piece of plywood, the square dimensions, but now I have to kind of make the perfect radius to follow the boat because not all of it sits on the ribs. So I think this is the template I'm going to use. Because I know this is 16 to, sorry, 16 to here to here, but the radius, you know, is not just... You can't just draw a radius because it's, uh, it's kind of a custom. Okay, so I took my nifty handy dandy template here and transferred it right to this treated half inch plywood and then flipped it over on the other side and transferred it to this one. And I, I make sure that the measurement I want to end up at is on that side and the same one on this side. And I kind of fudge the angle here to to kind of hit that and I have to shave it down then I have to shave it down but I want it, I want it bigger rather than smaller you know and uh, when I cut this I always use purple respirator cartridges because this stuff is nasty it's fucking poisonous make you sick I can. So that's it's a pressure treated plywood piece. Uh, not as good as marine grade, but couldn't find any today, and this will last a long time. It's got a there's a couple like aluminum kind of. 
structure pieces. Uh, I can't think of the name right now. And uh, anyway, it's got a hole for a vent, so it's, it's going to help it breathe and not rot. So I'm pretty happy with it, how it turned out. The template, the template worked out. Um, I had to cut it twice, which wasn't bad. I had to use stainless screws, and even though I pre-drilled, man, the stainless it just has to be, it's so brittle, it broke off several times into a pre-drilled hole, and it's kind of annoying.